Well, I have a little rep reprieve from my construction to open packages that came in the mail today. And you can watch as, and listen as the disappointment or whatever comes. I, I believe I know what these are, but we'll, dis we'll discover them together. Okay, scissors. Try this again. What seems to be the problem here? Why isn't this opening? How does this work? Cut this way. Vacuum sealed or something. This should be, if I'm not mistaken, as soon as I remove the dolphin food from it, fish food, there we go. Um, this should be a, yes, an ot, um, a Norma, Norma, uh, pencil in four different colors. And I, I may not have this pattern. This is quite a lovely pattern. Let's see if I can get this in focus. A little sh zigzaggy business going on here. Normally I oh and look it's a it's belong to sexy fez s x f f and s s k f f and s whatever s k f s and s f and s is you come up with what you think that is. Make a fun story to go along with it. Society of Fraternal S, K, F, S, and F and S. S, K, F, F, and S. That's a hard bunch of letters to say and out of focus, especially. So, this is actually quite lovely. Um, much nicer in person than it appeared to be on the photograph. So that's nice. Put that over here. Now we do number two. Number three. Number two. Let's do number two first. Of course I could have picked the other one and called that number two. Is this going to be a piece of number two, or is this going to be nice? Okay, come on, open. Aha, I want to, I want to do that one last. Because that's the one that might be the most disappointing. That might be aptly called number two. This is pretty well known what this is, although I don't understand why it's so heavy. Oh, this is, I have yet another package coming. This is, this is coming from a friend of mine, and I don't know why he's sending me something, but we'll find out. This is from an old neighbor of mine. He often sends me things that he thinks I would like, but often they're kind of joke things. And... This is, this is perfect, coming from Mr. Mr. C himself. Hi! Look at that. My God. This is what I need to keep my teeth together. Oh, Patrick, you're a nut. Patrick Chasse, who sent me this, is a uh, world famous, or not so much famous, but he's world renowned by people who know 
Um, he's a landscape architect, brilliant landscape architect, and uh, he also is one of the smartest people I know, and he his ability to do puns, as with many people that do puns, um, they, they're hot-wired. Their brain just comes up. I don't think they have to think. They just they open their mouth and it comes out. So this <laughs> is very funny. Oh my god, Patrick, what a nut. Okay, I, I am expecting another. I think there is actually another package that I forgot to get. So this is the thing that I was the least, the most apprehensive about. But I, looking at the lot, you know, there were some things that were going to be probably bad or broken and there were some things that were going to be good I hope the the good I hope is the thing but I know that there's some bad things we'll start with this one this is a modern fountain pen that looks like it was made by a machinist in shop class and it has a cartridge and squeaks so you know that it's good um and it this does this screw on the back it does screw on the back who knew, who who made this i don't know and do i care because it's a modern pen um it has what i probably think mo most modern pens have which is a skipping problem it's kind of neat, though. I mean, I, it's not bothering me as much as I thought it might. Um, are you now skipping? Is that what you're doing? It's very heavy. This is a very heavy pen um, since it's metal and it's kind of thick. Um, it's interesting. I don't dislike it as much as I thought I would. But the part that I like the least about these mo any pen that looks like this is this step going from the barrel, which is relatively uniform all the way along, to what is called the section, which is the part that goes from the threads toward the nib. That's normally where you put your fingers. And normally on a fountain pen, normal fountain pens, the difference between the barrel and the section is minimal, so your hand can kind of fit nicely. Here, if I held it there, my fingers would get all inky in no time. So normally these pens have the threads, the section is longer, but it's still stepped down, and that really bothers me. So, but because this pen, this is so short, I wouldn't really hold it there. I'd hold it back here, so it doesn't bother me in this case. But, um, oh God. Uh, there is no inner cap. And you screw this down, and maybe that's airtight. I don't know. It's not bad. I'd give this a, for a modern pen, I'd give it a B plus. Oh, well, maybe a B minus. When you unscrew it, you have to decide what you're unscrewing because both of the threads have equal. You know, is it going to unscrew here or up here when you unscrew it? So if you hold it, I guess you hold it there. You unscrew the cap. Do you unscrew a cap or do you unscrew the barrel? Answers below. I usually unscrew the barrel. I'll hold the cap in my hand. My right hand, which is my dominant hand, holds the important part, the pen, because I have to, you know, maneuver it here. So when I, when I, is that what I do? Yes, I hold the barrel. The barrel stays in my hand. The cap is in my left hand. Yeah, this would, that's how I do it. I, I, I unscrew the barrel from the cap. The cap is the thing that's anchored. Okay, one down. Was that worth what I paid for the lot? No. 
but we'll go to the next one. I'll pick one at random here. Okay, this is a Kurtzer pen with a clip that's very loose. Uh, this was just a big off-brand pen. Uh, it may have a gold nib, though it doesn't. And I think I maybe was able to see that it doesn't. What's nice about these pens, turn on some light here, so you, is these are pens that I use to create my um, Franken pens with. And this particular one, because the my Franken pen nibs tend to be large, it's nice having a pen that's has a big section, wide section. Uh, why is this wiggly? It, when these are wiggly, it might mean that the metal is falling apart, or it might mean that the inner cap is loose or something. It's not bad. It's okay. It'll work fine. As it is now with the steel nib, it probably will write fine. I mean, write okay as it is, but it's a steel nib, so it will rust and warp. Needs a new pressure bar and a new sack. Kreitzler. And it is a wood grain pen. I don't know if you can see that, but okay, so that's okay. That's another B minus. Okay, what do we have here? This is a safer. This is another um, wood grain pen. I like these wood grain pens, these pl plastic ones, if not they don't have to be the hard rubber ones, but uh, I have a collection of pens that are plastic with the red and black wood grain look. And this looks like it's a gold nib. Where's my magnifying glass when I'm on it? Warranted 14 karat. So this will have a little bit of give to it. It does. It starts out kind of, it has a very rounded ball of iridium, so it's very smooth. It starts out a little louder than I normally like my pens to be. Louder meaning it starts out broader. The It doesn't close to a really sharp fine. Um, but that's okay. It has some... A little bit of something up here. I don't know what that is. I don't think it's cracks. It's just dirt or something. That's okay. That B plus. This one, Skid, Skidmore, Skid Row, Skid, Skidmore. This one, oh dear, the lever was was in the wrong spot. This one has this nice peppermint sort of. Uh, plastic. Makes me think of candy. I think this has a gold nib. It's been so long since I saw the image. Is It does have a gold nib. Again, it's a large pen, so it could be turned into a Franken pen if I want to. Um, but I don't know whether I have a Skidmore pen in my collection. Does it have a Skidmore nib? I bet it's warranted. Warranted. Warranted number eight, which means if this, if th there was a Waterman nib of this size, it would be a number four. But, so that's nice. That's what I expected, and actually prettier than what I expected, even with the schmutz on the side. Okay, three down. I think there's Few more left. Another um, large plastic pen. It's not hard rubber. Nope, plastic. You can smell hard rubber. Hard rubber has a smell. Ben Benedits. E F E C Benedits. B E N E D I T Z. Poor guy. Benedits. I think this nib is okay. It's a gold nib. Iridium is still there. Eh, maybe not. 
I may have spoken too soon. Well, it's still there. I did not speak too soon. It's uh, it's a nice heavy pen. I like Webster's. Um, I may <laughs> not have one of these. I'm laughing because the 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 gold filled stamp is one fortieth fourteen carat gold filled. And it's really stamped hard. It's not, it's punched down rather than being sort of engraved or however they were done. So it looks very funny. Benedict's. Okay, what else? Is that it? Did I only get these? I guess that's it. So that's not bad. Um, this one, I mean, there, there are so many modern pens out there that if I started collecting modern pens, I would never stop. I think this is a, an example of the kind of design I normally do not like because of the step-down bit. But because, again, this is not where my fingers would end up, it's okay, it's better than... And I got a pen from Gold Spot Pens. Where did that go? See, this one, this bothers me. Because this is, I want my hands to be here where all of this stuff is happening. All of these different widths and textures. It's really it's hard for me to hold this. You might think it would be easy to hold it because of all of the different textures, but it isn't. It's actually painful. Painful. Oh, the pain. The pain. It's not that painful, but it's bothersome because my fingers want to be sort of right here. So I, there's enough space between my stubby fingers and the point so I can see what I'm doing. So this fails, that test. This one, um, there's another big thing here, but it, this sort of fails as well. This, because this stepped area is where my hand would normally be. And this bothers me. It doesn't bother me on normal fountain pens because the, there's not a difference of width, really. The threads don't bother me. The threads are kind of comforting. They fit in the in the ridges of my fingerprint. But these big cliffs here bother me. So this one, that bothers me, the fact that the cap doesn't stay on the back of that pen. This cap does stay if you screw it down. Screw it in. I don't really like pens that you have to screw the cap on the back because it adding time. This one doesn't bother me because of the the distance that I normally would hold the pen is behind the bumpiness here. Okay, let me unscrew this, put this in here. And let me pick up the thing off the floor before I step on it. Forget that it fell. <clears throat> Here's the pen that it goes to. I guess it does stay. I just didn't push it down far enough. Okay. Okay, screw. I guess you don't screw. You just press. Say goodbye. Goodbye. Look at all of that bling in there. Bye.